Hey guys, it's Lisa. So I'm here at Disneyland today and I think that today is gonna be a merch day. In fact, I know it's gonna be a merch day. I just wanna casually look around and see what's new around the shops at Disneyland, but I really don't know how much new stuff there's gonna be, but you know what? We are gonna hunt it down regardless. So come along with me, let's hang out, and yeah, let's look at merch. You may have noticed that I started out here at Disneyland. Yes, look, Adventureland is right behind me and I usually don't start my merch videos out here, but I kind of just like want to walk up and down Main Street. So that's what we're going to do. Maybe we'll also get a snack. I kind of want a snack. I'm inside a Fortuosity shop, which has this really pretty Little Mermaid collection that I've already seen. I mean, everything in it is just like very dreamy and very watercolory. And it's a bunch of women's clothing and home goods, but they have a few items I haven't seen. So for instance, right here, they have some biker shorts and they're made out of that very slick, like athletic material, like very, very slick. But these actually have pockets in the seams on both sides, which I think is really cool. They are, $37 and I really like the print. I also really like the color. It's like a very pastel-y cornflower blue. And then we have Ariel right there combing her hair with a dingle hopper. I was not expecting this, but we have a men's shirt and it looks so good. Okay, so first off, it's $60 and I already touched it. It has the nicest, like drapiest kind of material and it's superb. It's really high quality, but then the print itself is adorable. It's peachy pink. We have flounder, hello, and then these like various seashells, sea flowers, bubbles, etc., etc. This is really nice. There's a bucket hat right here, and the first thing is that this patch is so pretty. She looks so cute, and then the metallic thread is really unique and very, like, I just really like that. All the different colors, the metallicness of it, and then the print is not metallic, but it has kind of like an airbrush sheen to it, you know, so that it resembles metallicness. <laughs> and then it's reversible, so this side has that same peachy pink color as the men's shirt, and it has flounder. At Fortuosity Shop, they have this sweatshirt. It's like a dip dyed pullover and it's really delightful. I've actually already seen this before, but I'm just pointing it out. Well, you'll see in a second why, but it's like the softest, thinnest material. It's delightful. But if you want to match and have leggings to go with it, well, you can. So look at this. Well, let me check the price before I forget. These are $45. They have the same magenta color and they're kind of cottony feeling. They're not like super slick, like a typical kind of like athletic material is. And look at this at the bottom. It has metallic screen printing with Disneyland and it kind of like fades up into like a low opacity. It looks really nice. I almost missed these and I'm so happy that I didn't. So these plushes are by, I believe it's a German brand. It's Steiff, but they're known for making very high quality plushes and these are so cute. So they're $40 each. This one is Mickey. Look at how big his cheeks are. Aren't they so big? And his adorable little mouse tail. He does have like weighted beans in his butt. So it's just like, I don't know. These are really cute and also just like a really nice size. There's of course a matching mini. Look at her. How fun, I like her skirt, I like her eyelashes, and her chubby, chubby cheeks. Also her bow, it looks like two little hearts put together. And I'm really sad because over the summer, I wanna say, they had a set, Disney like stocked a few of these plushes, but not Mickey and Minnie, it was like Winnie the Pooh, Dumbo, I forget the third one, but oh my goodness, they sold out so quickly and I really regret not getting the Winnie the Pooh one. Like truly, I think about it to this day. We have been blessed with another pair of bobble bar ears. So we already had the Princess Leia ones. These actually came out around the same time, but I just haven't seen them in real life. And they're exceptional. Let me tell you, they look great in pictures, but they also look so good in real life. They're $58, which is just a few dollars more than the regular bobble bar price, which is 55. And they have so many amazing details. The first thing, so they're made out of like a really nice sandy ultra suede. They have raffia around the edges and the bow looks like it's made out of like giraffe print. It's it's really cute, but the best part for me, it's the crystals. It looks like pave diamonds. I'm just, I'm loving it. It's multicolored and it even has like gold edging around it. It's, these are really amazing. And I just, I love them. I wonder if they're very far apart, which bobble bar ears are usually sadly very far apart. I turned around and I had no idea that bobble bar actually made matching earrings for these. So they're so cute. They also have the same raffia and they have enamel Simba's and that same like pave 
rhinestone right there. So these are 60 and then there's also a set right here for 50 that has four. I think that's really cool. And then lastly, if you're getting ready for Star Wars night or Star Wars month, you can get Ahsoka Tano studs. Well, I don't know, would these qualify as studs? They're so large. But these are also $50. And then it looks like they have, yes, they have glitter in the blue. And she has like kind of a nice, very fierce looking cartoon face. I just wanted to give you a very important update, a very important new emo update, because now they have new emos at the Emporium, although they did take them away from Disney Showcase, which is very sad. But anyway, this is a new new emo. I don't know why she's all the way at the bottom. It's sad. We have Edna Mode. She's $22 and she, I mean, look at this. She comes with glasses and then look at her face. Actually, this one doesn't have the glasses. Look at her face. Is she judging us? I don't know. I just like hear her voice, you know, like on the Incredicoaster. That's all I can hear when I look at her. I'm going to give you a really quick look at the ear wall here at the Emporium. These aren't all of them, but I'm just going to like really, really quick scan through them so you can pause the video wow we still have Christmas ears why yes we do but the first thing I'll point out is that we do have a restock well not a restock these have been back in stock these are the Valentine's Day ears for this year I love the bow I just don't know every time I see them I'm like should I get them I'm not sure but I wanted to point these out let me grab them because I'm one-handed and then I'll show them to you so now we can take a closer look at them. They have a lot of detail. First off, it's not just one set of ears, it's two set of ears because you do get bunny ears right there. They're made out of like a plush material and I did check, they have wire in them so you can bend them, fold them, whichever way you like. And then the print is really nice. So first off, it has like a nice grain to it even though it is faux leather, just in case, of course, it's gonna be faux leather. And then the other thing, so the print is gonna be the same on every single pair of ears. So if you buy them online, if you shop in store, they're gonna have the same placement. So we have Judy Hops, we have Thumper, we have the White Rabbit, who's sadly hidden by the bow. And then, is that? Yes, it is. It's the rabbit from the Mad, it's the Mad Hatter's friend. I forgot his name. <laughs> And then what else? We have the flowers from Alice in Wonderland. And then there's a little bit of embroidery to show the, is it thorax of the butterfly and then butterfly wings and a tiny little like cotton ball, like a little poof ball in the middle. I think these are really fun. I'm debating, like, should I get these? Should I get these for Easter? <laughs> A new addition to the Retro Cartoon Pals collection is this terry cloth hat. I mean, it's, okay, first off, it's very like, it doesn't have a lot of structure, see? But I mean, that's okay, you would just put it on your head. It's $30 and then it has various characters because at first I thought it was just Mickey kind of debossed into it, but no, look, we have Daisy right there. I saw Donald, there's a, another Daisy. We're looking for maybe a mini, another Daisy. <laughs> but I think it's really cool and I also really like the color. I mean, if you had an entire fit from the retro collection, you would look very cute. And I, the other thing too, okay, so I've tried a lot of bucket hats on from Disney and I think maybe I have a small hat or something, but they fit a little bit large. So just be warned in case you're wondering, they might feel a little bit big, but maybe not, maybe I'm crazy. I am way too curious and I just need to try these on really, really quick. And also I just wanna be able to show you what they look like on a head. Although I have seen a lot of people wearing them today and they look really cute. I've seen a lot of people wearing these. I think they're popular. So here we go. They do look cute. I mean, it is like a lot, but when you're at Disney, it's totally fine. And I just think it's really cool that you can you know, bend them whichever way you like, keep them straight, bend them down. I don't know, should I get these? Maybe I should bring these on Easter, like Easter weekends, and maybe get Easter treats, that would be fun. I wanted to show you these really quick too because I know that they're just like, they're a little bit pricier, right? But I think these are exceptional, and when you see them in real life, they are really nice. And on the head, they're really nice. And plus, Bobble Bar ears have the, like, just the comfiest headband. And they're not too far apart, I don't think, you know? 
these and the Leia ears, we have had a good run. Let's keep it like that for a while, Baba Bar, please. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, so I love Star Wars merch. I am so ready for Star Wars month and May 4th coming up, but they specifically have items to celebrate her story, to celebrate Women's History Month. So the first item here, this is a long sleeve it looks like, or is it, no, it's a long sleeve. Oh, I like it. It has like a very drop sleeve. It kind of has like almost a spirit jersey vibe to it because it tapers down to like a smaller cuff, but I really like the contrasting color for the collar and the cuffs. And then it has an unfinished hem right here, a little Star Wars patch, which is so fun. This is actually the same type of patch they're doing on all the, oh, it is spirit jersey. Fun, okay. This is, oh, it doesn't have a price. I'm gonna guess this is gonna be like $50, $40. And then it has a heat press right here. It has like kind of like exposed seams, which I think are really cool. But these are all of our favorite female Star Wars characters. And I think that's just really cool. Although Leia does not look like Leia at all, but I still really like this cartoon style. Oh wait, let me check the back. Is there anything on the back? Oh, there is. It's a very large graphic, and then it has the same puffy print that all of the spirit jerseys have. And it says, the force is with us. Love it. This is a crossbody featuring the same graphic. It's by Loungefly, and it has the little plaque right there on the back. It also has really nice gunmetal hardware. And you can see it's like slightly distressed, which is really cool. And then on the back, it says, Women of the Galaxy, the Force is with us as an applique. And then right here, the graphic actually does have a little bit of like debossing. Wait, no, does it? Yes, it does. That took me a second, but just like very faintly. But I do like how colorful this is. Also, the shape. There's a mug that's part of this collection. This is surprising and very fun. So it has a nice glazed satin finish. And then on the inside, it says the force is with us in a script font. And then it has like some like slightly satiny metallic silver around the base and the handle. And then it has all of our favorite characters, Ahsoka, Rey. And then I was really confused at first, but okay, that's Padme and then that's Leia. And yes, I did go back and check the spirit jersey and it is like the very large head is supposed to be Leia. I was just a little bit confused. Look, we even have Rose. I'm taking a quick break and I am finally back in one of my favorite places for a good hermit hiding spot. And that's the VIP tour guide area. But unfortunately during the morning to early afternoon, this spot is taken by actual like VIP tours. So yeah, but if you come later in the afternoon, then it's all yours and it's just really nice. It's very quiet, it's very relaxed. You can hear our jungle cruise but I came over here because I wanted to show you this, so I know it's not a lot to look at, but I did go to Candy Palace earlier today, and I'm just taking a quick break and gonna try this marshmallow pop. It's just around for St. Patrick's Day, and it was fully striped, but then I put it in my backpack and it got not fully striped, but we're gonna try it anyway. Pretty tasty. So I think that it's crushed up Oreos or just like chocolate cookies. It has like a Girl Scout cookie taste to it, like a Thin Mint. And yeah, just really good. I mean, there isn't a lot else to it. Sorry, there's a piece of chocolate dangling there. It was getting distracting. And this is fully marshmallow. Unfortunately, it's not like a little bit of cake pop, a little bit of marshmallow. So it's not the most exciting thing, but it's Mickey shaped. So that's why we love it. I came inside of Disney Showcase and it looks like they have some special Disney 100 books and this one in particular, so this one was just restocked. They had one that was limited edition and then this is just like the regular one, but then this, so it looks like this is a Disney 100 reskin of a book, like a very famous biography of Walt Disney and I have in fact read this, but I read it on Kindle so I didn't know that it was this thick. It was really good. I recommend that you get this, get it on Kindle. Kindle, get the real book form either way this was a really just like fun and interesting read and if you are a big Walt Disney fan then you're just gonna love it and then I also see this ooh 100 years of wonder art of coloring excuse me I kind of want this <laughs> look it's oh my gosh it's like all the posters and everything okay how much is this this is $15.99 let's see can I take a closer look inside Oh, this is really nice. Wait a minute, maybe I want this, although I really don't need a coloring book, but it's just kind of fun. 
I just wanted to point this out to you even though it might be totally silly but these are mints and they come in a special Disney 110 although if you don't come during the Disney 100 they usually have these in a non Disney 100 style but what's cool about them and the reason why I'm pointing them out is that they actually have the shapes of each of the characters so it's kind of like a Flintstone vitamin deal you know I think that's pretty cool I found a new men's shirt so this is a button-up and it's actually a long sleeve it does feel a little bit not like rough but it's just like not the silkiest not the smoothest but we're willing to accept that because it has Lotso and it has strawberries I like that it's like line art of Lotso and then the strawberries are like very bold and it's this nice minty green color with tiny little flowers to make it extra cheerful let's see I think okay $65 that's what I thought but also I mean this would maybe look good on Easter perhaps it's crow time I don't know if you can hear them I mean of course when I turn the camera on they oh no they're there 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 they are but anyway okay I was going to say that I feel like at Disneyland I just like did not see that much new stuff so I don't know, we're gonna go to World of Disney. Maybe we will find new things. Maybe we won't, but either way, we will try. <laughs> The entrance to World of Disney has not let us down because I have finally found something new. Well, okay, that's not true. The whole video is like new stuff. It's just not a lot of it. But this is an AirPod case and it's pretty cute. It has a nice graphic looking Mickey and then it looks like it has like a little keychain and a strap, which honestly, that part is like, I'm into that part. I don't know, nice little detail. Okay, $25. I found a new men's t-shirt. This is Star Wars themed. It says, don't don't underestimate a rebel and it has a nice repeating pattern and the print is not thick at all that's awesome and then I don't know if you notice this but it has a ton of stretch in it see that it feels like it's made out of like it's not gonna be like a sweat wicking type of material but it has like a lot of synthetic fibers in it so it makes it really really stretchy and then it has a nice overlock kind of stitch right there and then it's a really nice dusty kind of like eggplant color okay $45 there are men's sweatpants in the same style as that top right there and it has like the repeating pattern it says star wars and ooh, these are really thin like super super thin i don't know if you can tell just based off of like the way it kind of scrunches up but that's really nice and it looks like it has it's like almost like a patch pocket but it's not it's like a slip pocket but it has the seams right there and let's see is the bottom is it like a jogger yeah it's a jogger style okay so let's check the price 49.99 i found a woman's top and a pair of sweatpants that are in the same line so first off the material is still the same like super super stretchy and i feel like this is maybe like a hair thinner but like still like pretty thick like the men's shirt and it says always a rebel i did already like touch the print it's a little tiny bit thick but i think the cut is interesting so it has like kind of like a high low hemline and then it has this cutout in the back which I think is very unique and kind of cool and then it also has a little bit of they're like kind of cap sleeves so if you don't care for that like if you would prefer a full-length sleeve I think this is definitely a shirt to avoid the top is 45 and then let me show you the pants so these pants are the same like dusty eggplant color and they're made out of like incredibly stretchy fabric like the same material but just a little bit thicker and they have a tiny bit of ribbing in them and then slip pockets a super wide waist which would probably be super comfy but something that I noticed is like it already has snags on it which it has another snag like right here so that tells me these will snag like crazy if they're getting snagged just in the store so be warned about that but then these are also like a skinny jogger style and then that's the graphic down the side of the leg look at what's been restocked this has been an insanely popular men's jacket it came out on january 27th for the disney 100 and everything in this line the walt disney studios line is so nice and this is no exception it's 65 dollars has full embroidery at the chest nothing on the back and in case you're looking for it they do only have xl here but i was told that they're going to be getting in shipments here there so if you have been looking for this don't give up hope because it's back in stock and more will be coming soon 
there's this collection that has all the princesses and their castles and we've already seen this zip up but we haven't seen these sweatpants before and they're kind of like pajama style and the reason why I say that is because they don't have any like drawstring at the waist so they would just be like totally flat and just like maybe a little bit more fitted and they're $50 they have cuffed like jogger style ankles right there I was trying to find them for you and this print is really nice because it just features all the castles I love the pastel colors and the material itself is a nice medium weight and very plush in this princess collection they have a brand new mug this is $20 and I like that it mixes like a kind of like demi matte and then a glossy finish but then of course it has all of the princesses and their castles behind very cool and I'm gonna guess $20 yep $20 I've been trying to get more acquainted with magic bands and just like the different styles so I can inform you when there are new ones but I do know this one is new so this is a magic key exclusive it's white and gold but not gold like metallic it's just like a browny beige color but not actually like sheeny or have the shine of a metallic kind of paint and then because it's a magic key exclusive you do get it for a special price so it's $35 so I think that's gonna do it for our little merch day and I feel kind of bad because well one I don't think that I really found that much merch for us to look at two this video was probably kind of boring and three well the summation of one and two you know and it was still a fun day for me though I always just love just looking around the shops at Disneyland it's fun just to walk through them and then the other thing well I got a treat I got a marshmallow pop also I got some popcorn when you guys weren't looking it was a good day for me but yes maybe next time we shall find more merch and yeah I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys still had fun even though it was maybe boring but yes I will catch you guys in the next one <laughs> okay see ya